What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. If you're looking for a holster for a C Camp, I've got three of them that we're gonna check out now. This little C Camp here probably deserves its own review. This is actually a fairly rare gun in an its own right but it's also more rare in this black finish and actually that's why i got it because uh, they are generally hard to find um, and i just like the more tactical subdued less uh, obvious nature of these because in most of these they're kind of a polished or a brush finish and so and because they're all metal they stand out they're very very bright but this one is safety checked but you're gonna have to take my word for it and uh, i hope I, this is not the first video where anyone has ever shot through video over the internet um, so hey this is a great little pocket pistol, and obviously as a pocket pistol, one of the things that you want is a pocket holster. And so I actually have three of them here because I wanted to give you a quick overview of them as well as take a look at them in the pocket itself. So these are all a little bit different here. First of all, this one is like a wallet style. I found this one. It's by KCH kevinsconcealment.com and it's like a full wallet. You can see the, the leather that's folded over. I haven't tried any of these yet. It's a really thick and uh, sturdy leather. It's actually pretty hard, but it's going to kind of wear in and you want it to be pretty, pretty sturdy. But they do, he does make them for a variety of other uh, pistols. But what's most interesting about this is that it has like this rubber block here that's screwed in and then it has um, holes that hold the trigger in. So you can put it in like this, I'm assuming. I haven't even tried it yet. And uh, it's a nice tight fit, so you don't have to worry about anything moving around. Ooh, it's got a little lip there, so it's holding that in. And then you can see how it fits that curved edge right there, fits the pistol. And then you can fold it over, and now the thing is just like a wallet. Now, it's a pretty thick wallet, kind of a, uh, a man-sized wallet here. But now this could go in your pocket, front or back, and especially if it's poking up at the top, you wouldn't see it. This would just be like a rolled leather edge there. And then when you pull it out, this is the right hand draw, you can pull it out like that. Okay, so let's check out this one. This is a Kydex one, and I'll put links to them uh, in the description below. But you can see we have a piece of, oh, it's like a canvas, a heavy canvas here. And it's bolted on there. We have a tightening screw right here and then a Kydex holster, which is nice because they are really good fits. They don't warp particularly. So once you put something in, it should stay in there. It's, uh, you know, it's not going to necessarily slip out, especially nicely made ones that fit the trigger guard here. I'm going to just push it in and you can feel it snap in there really well. Most of them are holding heavily on the trigger here, but you can see everything. This one is a left-hand draw. But then you could get your hand underneath the outer flap here and pull it out like this and draw it like that. You can see how tight of a fit that is. But the nice thing is once that's in there, you can see that this is the only side that you would actually see, right? And it kind of will print like a regular wallet or a phone case or something like that. And then you can easily see here, the nice thing about it is that this Kydex, and this is pretty thin because especially when you usually have two pieces like this, you have a really big piece of leather out here, a really big piece of leather wrapped around there and it gets very thick, but this basically adds almost no width to the C camp itself. And like I said, you can just pull it out, but because Kydex is molded so exacting, it's uh, in there pretty tight. Now this one is by DeSantis. It's called the Trickster. It's ambidextrous. It comes in this little plastic case here. And what's nice about this is it's kind of a little bit of a blend of these two. It's kind of like a Kydex holster in some ways, but it's also a flip over wallet uh, look. And you can see instead of it being Kydex, it's just leather. So uh, this is as minimal as it gets. It's kind of got a uh, real leather look, a nice shiny on the outside, suede like interior. So you don't have to worry about it scratching anything cut out or uh, you stitching here to match your trigger guard. But what this will allow you to do is keep that really leather like wall look. Like I said, I haven't tried anything. And all this breaks in a little bit as you use it. So it's gonna hold it in there nice and tight. Again, this one is left hand draw. And you can see here that what ends up happening is that uh, it is just a single piece of leather. So no dual pieces. So at most you get the added thickness of like three or three millimeters on either side. And this is the side that you would see. Now the drawback to this one is that this might print just a little bit. It's pretty nice and smooth, but obviously this one's going to print like a wallet. This one probably maybe even more so too, but you might get just a little bit of that, you know, outline more on this 
on this side that's on the pocket. But let's take a look at what they look so like. I actually tucked in my shirt here because I want you to <laughs> see my pockets. And I'm going to show you in the order that I actually showed you before. So let's try this full flip over wallet uh, one. And just like this. And I could put it in my front pocket like this. And that's what it looks like. Kind of prints there. Um, but looks like a wallet. And then I could even put it in my back pocket if your back pocket is big enough. And right there, you can see it too. And now my back pocket's pretty deep, but even if you got a peek in there, it looks just like a wallet, I think, right? So it's hard to see from this side. Now let's take the Kydex one and I'll put it in there. And it's a left hand draw. So I'm just gonna put it in here. And now you can see, again, it looks just like a wallet, especially because that, that outer piece is totally separated. And then if I go ahead and put it in a back pocket, just like that, built to be the judge, it's hard for me to see, but you know, it's gonna hang off your bum, just like that. And then for this DeSantis, uh, we will take a look at this one. Now this one I think is probably gonna be, <laughs> it's probably one of the smallest, most minimal ones, but it's probably also going to be the one that prints most. So left hand draw so if we put it in here um you know it's got a little bit of a roll it doesn't have quite that flat it's a little bigger on the front edge here but i don't think anything about that screams um well i will say it's kind of amazing how pocketable the c-camp is and then if we go ahead and do a back pocket here now i will say on this because there's some extra material down on the bottom it does peek up to the top a little bit and so I don't know if you can see that, but you can probably get a little bit of a look there, as opposed to this one, which is going to prevent that even if even if your pocket isn't very deep. So, um, you know, you could get it like that too. So those, that's a quick look at those three holsters. And I think they all have kind of their pros and cons, but if you're looking for, you know, something very pocketable for the most pocketable um, pistol in the world, I think they're pretty good options. Gives you a good variety. Hey, I'll put links to all three of these in the description below. Peter Brown Panda, out.